We're just some people hanging out, Drew. Some polygonal people, it looks just like. Polygonal people hanging around. Wow, not sprite-based people. Doing stuff. That guy's not happy. <laughs> his arms folded going, <laughs> like, oh, I should be out there. I hate cars. This lady's like, ah, my sweatshirt's a little too big, but I had to grab something real fast. Yeah, maybe it's cold there. And this lady also not having it. Mm. She's like, do you want to go watch racing? She's like, never. <laughs> Those guys are real pumped about Ford. Those guys are big Ford fans. Which is a bummer for them, because here I'm driving by in this uh, in this bad boy. What is that? Uh, it's it's my it's a t uh, my, my GT86. Ooh, oh, it's Toyota. All right. Well, uh, I got a Toyota. Torino Sprinter. I, I saw the, 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 yeah. Very very reliable, in my experience. Hmm. I can toggle the headlights here, because this is Forza Motorsport Six. <laughs> So, of Very course, detailed. you can toggle the headlights yeah, here in sure. photo mode. Like, I need my headlights up for this are you, picture. Are you motion blurring? Is that what's happening there? Yeah, this, it's kind of processing the effects and stuff after the fact. Okay. We're mid-race. Oh, all right. Out here on the, the Nür Nürburgring. The Nürburgring. Uh, not the hardest circuit to pronounce. That, I think, belongs to the Hungaroring. Okay. Which is in Hungary. Oh, well, I, I guess that only makes sense. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so this is this is Forza Motorsport Six. You drive cars in it. Cool. Yeah, it's you, you it drive nice. against drive a tars. Uh, this is just the free play mode. We're taking a car that I have I got in the career and pulling it out and mm -hmm. taking it for a drive. Look at that cockpit. Yeah. I can't drive from the cockpit view, Drew, and it will never. That'll never change. That's fine, Jeff. You know what? I realize that I am I am the crazy one. It's uh, that I like the cockpit. Part of it is you know I I like a nice racing line. Mm -hmm. And I like to put the racing line at the bottom center of the screen, and me being pitched off to the side of the car like that makes that weird. Yep. And also, it devotes a large chunk of the screen to kind of non-gameplay stuff, you know, in a way. Yeah, I know what you mean. So I just went to the hood view, thinking that maybe that would be the thing. Mm -hmm. But these hoods are so shiny. See, that's what freaks me out about hood view. And when I turn, it just looks weird. Like I'm, it looks like my head is turning. Right. Like you don't know the car is not turning. It looks like the 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 camera is turning yeah. and the hood is staying straight because the, the reflection, the way the reflections work. Exactly. Also, it's really weird that the reflections have the names and stuff. <laughs> uh, I was thinking over they may heads. they may have to do that for like computational reasons. I wonder because the the rear view mirror does not have them. Hmm. I don't know. I'm no video game scientist. No, no, you are not. Neither am I. Whoa. Um. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I've been driving. I, I feel like this is maybe the best that the driving has been. Really? In the franchise. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of that, I would actually say I, I would put on the controller. Um, you know, something oh, about it... Forza Motorsport 5, uh, you know, having these impulse triggers and stuff like uh -huh. that. Like the rumble in the controller is really great at telling you when you are kind of at the edge of friction or the edge of your, your tire's grip and kind of, yeah, like, hey, you're about to lose it. And that's in the the uh, triggers specifically? Yeah, and, and just, you know, regular rumble also in the controller. I'm sure okay. it all probably works together to to kind of do it, but uh, the the one of the new things they've done this year is rain and water and, and puddles and wet roads and stuff like mm -hmm. that, uh, that that matter. and. In a gameplay sense. Yeah, yeah, because you will hydroplane a little bit. You will you, you will jerk into a puddle, basically. Okay. And because of the way the controller shakes and, and the way that they've programmed that stuff, it feels like a car being jerked into a puddle. Okay. In a way that, that they haven't really, that other games don't really do. And, and, and that's pretty impressive. Like the, the feel of, you know, you get a lot of feedback from the controller itself that like you know it's a weird thing but like it, it becomes second nature it, it's it's something that it's the same way you would react if you felt those feelings while driving an actual car interesting uh and so it it became it's this sort of thing that feels like second nature it feels familiar uh in, in a way that's weird because you know i'm like holding a controller and not a steering wheel and stuff right. and and there are definitely like aspects about using a gamepad to steer a car that i think you know are not as good as using an actual steering wheel to drive a real car word just buy a racing wheel. No, racing wheels don't do it. No? No, Not racing wheels feel fake. Mm. Feel feel more fake than a gamepad. You gotta buy one of those it, thousand dollar ones. Well, yeah, there you go. Uh, you but I, but I, wonder if, I wonder if a racing wheel, well, I don't know I don't know what the support options are for this game and, and stuff, you know, if they have a good Xbox One racing wheel. I, I, they have one, I'm sure, but... Uh, 
if it would feel as good in terms of like that that puddle stuff, the the kind of hydroplaning, like the the, the, the force feedback, right? Uh, how that would feel, I, I don't actually know. Maybe it's great, but um, but no, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy a racing wheel. Okay. Again, I'm the crazy one here. I'm never gonna buy. I'm, I'm not gonna buy a racing wheel. Okay. I bought a racing wheel for Gran Turismo Three. A series how'd I had actually that, that hated up until that point. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the racing wheel made it actually make sense for me okay. in a weird way uh, that it, that hadn't come across before in the first two games. Uh, but three was also a, a better game uh, in a lot of ways. Um, Do you have any interest in racing games with a VR headset? Yeah, sure, totally. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be really cool. But uh, you know, we're not there quite yet. Not Next yet. year. You know. I tried playing iRacing on uh, The Office. Mm -hmm. DK1? Yeah, yeah. And boy, I could not even tell which way turns were going. The resolution right. was so low. Is that thing here? That's mine. I, I bought that. I think it's here. Yeah. I think it's in the I cabinet I haven't seen it there. in a while. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's kind of like, it's a weird relic. It's weird to think of that thing as being a weird relic now. Anyway, this is Forza Motorsport 6. You drive cars. Oh. Uh, and it has a lot of the same features and options that you would expect from uh, a Forza game. You can rewind? Uh, you can rewind, absolutely. Um, you can bang up your car. Do I, do I like it? Yeah, sure, I do like it. Uh, and a lot of this stuff is similar to what you saw in 5, uh, but they've uh, taken out a lot of the microtransactions and stuff that made 5 uh, a bummer. Okay. Um, but they've kept drive guitars. Uh They've kept uh, the, the AI based on how you actually drive which uh, maybe we'll get into a race that has some of those. We'll, we'll duck into the career here and see okay. where I'm at. So it's, it's got this Madden menu thing that I don't especially like. Uh, I mean, I guess it's effective at kind of pointing you at what there is to do and all that stuff, but just like, here's more boxes, here's more yeah, boxes, here's more lot. boxes. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that there's something about this game that I just wish was better and, and it's like like I said the, the actual driving the act of you driving a car is great uh, but I think a lot of the stuff around it in terms of uh, you know how it presents the cars and oh, oh your no your car is illegal Jeff I gotta configure that car for this division mm, okay so I guess we're downgrading that car to be appropriate for the series that I'm in the middle of you got a tail light out yeah it's an illegal car um, a lot of the stuff is is not great, uh, and, and or, or the surrounding. It, yeah, the surroundings around the act of you driving a car, like the the AI, the difficulty options are are there as they always have been. Um, and there's a new option for drive guitars called limit aggression, hmm. which is probably useful because I think the big criticism about, about drive guitars last time around is that they just smash into you all the time. And and I had people on my friends list that I would see in game that work for turn ten. Which I don't, I don't know this for sure, but I assume that they would be clean racers. <laughs> uh, Not one of those guys who just barrel into turn one and, and right. use the other car as, as a bumper. But like that specific person's drive avatar did exactly that. Huh. Uh, and, and so it was like you know it was ways that like you know people would always complain after Forza Five came out. I had a lot of people writing me on Twitter and stuff and saying like your drive avatar is a real dick. <laughs> but I think actually maybe a lot of drive avatars are dicks. Mm. And that hasn't really changed here. Uh, like I said, you could do the limit aggression thing, which, you know, would hopefully have some, make some changes Is there. that in that uh, driver tar difficulty uh, option right there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So you have a, a, a basic skill level, uh, but then, yeah, you can limit aggression, blocking and side swiping. Interesting uh, that that doesn't reduced. that doesn't take off your credit percentage. Yeah, I think that's just something where, like, you know, hey, th this is this is a frustrating thing at any difficulty, and and that's that's annoying. We'll we'll leave it off for now. Just kind of see okay. see it in its natural state. Um, Star Wars man on your car. Yeah, yeah. I'd uh, pick a design. I I realized today I missed the days of the auction house for uh for car paints and stuff like that, where like someone could make something super rare with like the Pringles guy on it. <laughs> and then sell it for tons of credits. Like I, I, I remember checking the auction house and trying to win auctions, and like that being fun, and having that reduced to ah, you can use whatever you want, and the person who made it will get a, a little bonus if you use and like their thing. Uh, I don't like it as much. Mm. I don't like it as much. Um, mods, mods, mods are new. Uh, they're cards. You can buy packs of cards. Uh, and what do you mean when you say buy? Uh, you mean I mean I'm buy them with with in-game currency. Okay. <clears throat> Have you seen a way to translate? 
I U.S. dollars. I have not. To uh, currency. I have not, so okay. I, I I'm not going to say that there's uh, well I, I so I, I've dug through the menus a little bit you you know the the car pass exists the the car DLC that they're going to be putting out on like a monthly basis for for a good long time that's all in there there's stuff in there right now ultimate edition comes with that stuff and some other VIP pack and you know they've got different things that you can pay real money for on top of the game uh, but so far I'm not seeing anything in with the way of like. Uh, car tokens and stuff like that. Okay, so this to uh, me seems like it exists then as a way to, a fun way to spend your credits? I guess, yeah. I mean, and to make so, your... something else to spend your credits on other than cars and car parts. Okay, yeah. Um, and, and here's, let's just buy a, a mod pack here and see what we get. I, I think this whole system is really strange. Okay, so here's a boost. Uh, so you could get potentially 6,000 extra credits uh, for perfect passes if you deploy this card in a race. Eh, all right, no, whatever. Okay. Extra credits, who cares? Single use, you just, here you go. You get an extra 1500 XP when you use this card in a race. No questions asked. Uh, okay, an extra boost to perfect turns. So just ways to get more credits. I spent credits to get credits, apparently. Mm -hmm. There you go, more credits. S more credits. Uh, okay, here's a dare. Uh, some of these will force you into higher difficulty settings or, or or specific situations, like there's another one for um, be locked to the hood cam. Uh, and you'll get an extra 10% credit boost. The, so here's one like for, for, yeah, yeah, like Halo skulls, okay. sure, I guess. Um, and then uh, there are also ones that are just straight up benefits, like this one that I have equipped over here. Oh, the grip specialist? Yeah, the grip specialist. Oh god, wait, wait. What you're in tune? I did setup. quick equip mods and oh. okay, wait. No. Well, we're going to mods. Uh crew. Unli unlimited use, plus six percent grip, and then an extra six percent on a specific track. Hmm. Uh I think that's dumb. And I'll tell you why. This game is about you bolting parts onto your car in a realistic way. It's about real cars and, you know, real driving. It's attempting to be a simulator, sure. you know? And and having, like, here, play this card and you get 6% extra grip. Like, what does grip mean in this particular context? Will I feel it? And why don't I just bolt on parts to get that grip? And it's, it's a way for you to kind of like, you know, you can't bolt on parts because you're optimized for this category. So spending more credits on more parts would raise the, the rating of your car such that it would be disqualified from this series. So this is kind of a way for you to get like a little bit of a boost uh, beyond that. And I, I just think that's a weird concept in a game. It'd be like if every car had nitrous or a machine gun on it. Mm. Maybe that's a little more extreme. Okay, that's, well, way, but I, that's way more extreme. I, but it's like, pretty extreme. I, it, I think I understand because, like, you, like these games are about, well, for some people, like Forza has to me kind of existed for a lot of different categories of players, but for the people that want to dive in and really tune up their car and stuff, like they, you want to, you tune it just right, and then having this mod that kind of cheats for you. Right, or maybe doesn't because maybe you're not a, like, maybe you're more into drifting or something. I, it's, I just think it's a really weird idea that doesn't make much sense given the context of the rest of the game. It, it feels like something that it just doesn't fit with what I feel is has always kind of been the stated purpose of Forza Motorsport to try to be like this thing for people who love cars. Uh, and I feel like, th like more than ever, they, they're failing to tap into the joy of cars uh, outside of the the actual experience of driving, which I think they've they've done great with. But like the menus, the options, the you know, like some of that stuff I think is just bone dry, mm. like a like a car brochure, but in the negative sense. Yeah. You know, it's it's the, the the voice coming on between races. Like now we're going to take you to Brands Hatch to do this thing that you're going to do, and, and it's like. There's nothing lively about it. And yeah. I wonder if that's, if, you know, if they felt that they needed to further go in this direction because Forza Horizon exists as like the quote unquote, like the fun Forza. Hmm. 
And that's so that they they made this like a little more serious. I mean, I guess it's always been serious, but I just feel like I feel like they've done better in previous years at just kind of like making it all fit in a way that felt inviting to people at all levels. Whereas like I feel slightly out of my le- like this feels too serious for me. Mm. And and I've really enjoyed, you know, uh, like Forza 3 and 4. Uh, I thought were were great great games. Um, Would you say there is in this game you feel less of a compelling reason to go through the game to like that's, is there anything that's pulling certainly you part through of it? it. No. Okay. So it's it's the, there are the, the career is kind of broken up into volumes and different series. So when you finish a, a cluster of races, I think I'm in one that's like five races long right now. Uh, you'll go in right into the next one, uh, and and you don't have like a, the option you have is like, well, what kind of cars do you want to take? And it'll be like, okay, I want to take, you know, uh, sport compacts or hot hatches or you know, like like the those kind of categories, and that'll determine what cars uh, are are allowed for the next set. Um, but that's kind of the only option you have in terms of the career stuff. There's a showcase mode where you kind of get into different different menus. And that's where some of the top gear integration is still. Okay. Which is, must have been an, a frustrating thing <laughs> to have happen while you were working on this game yeah. with a bunch of top gear shit in it, is to suddenly have top gear kind of not exist. So I take it there's no Clarkson in this? Uh, so the other two guys are in it. Okay. And when they speak, the, their name appears on screen as, and then under it, their title is just Automotive Journalist. Weird. Uh, and then there are straight up Top Gear branded uh, events in the game. Like, you know, hey, go knock over some bowling pins. Like stuff they've done before. But then there's like a whole thing of like, race against the Stig. Mm. Which is the you know the mystery man from Top Gear? Sure, I mean Top Gear itself exists as a brand outside of that three-man show. Right, but has I mean, has anything that hasn't just had those three men in it been well received? Because they did the U.S. show that everyone hated, right? Right. I mean, there's, uh, a, there's a magazine and there's a website that is like car news. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they will try to keep the brand going as best they can, and yeah. maybe they'll find the right people to, to do that as these other guys go off to do whatever. Whoa, there's some aggression on. Yeah. Whoa! We're fine, we're fine. Good pass. Three good passes in a row is what that <laughs> says. Um, good pass. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. I'm getting a little sideways here. Um... You know, and maybe that stuff would like be a little more meaningful to me if I liked Top Gear at all. Mm. Uh, and I felt like the last game they kind of leaned on the Top Gear stuff too, and as a way to like get some like brand coolness in the game, or just any personality. Yeah, right? yeah. But like I, I don't find that personality inviting or interesting at all. Yeah. So it was like they just went in the exact wrong direction for me. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, if, if people like Top Gear, then then I'm sure they're psyched about that stuff. But yeah, it just kind of... Uh, I like Top Gear, uh, and I was excited to drive around the uh, Top Gear test track test or whatever. Track, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, like having, you know, here's a couple lines of dialogue about the AI racer you're going to face because it's the digital Stig. Like, I, that stuff just plays off super corny to me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so the, the career is, is, the career feels flat, or it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything interesting other than just, like, you know, like, it's, the driving feels good, and if, if yeah. that's enough to pull you through, then, then this is awesome. It's always a weird balance uh, to strike, though, right? Because, like, on the one hand, you want the freedom to, to drive all the cars. Right. But you also want to feel like you're being rewarded for doing so. So yeah. how do you feel rewarded without unlocking stuff. Yeah, so I mean, but I, I think that, you know, it's it's the, I want to say the way, for, uh, the, the way Horizon handled it uh, was you got in a car and it served up an event that was appropriate. Okay. So it was like, you can kind of drive whatever you want and the opposition will be tailored to that and and so on and so forth. So if you jump into the R1, you know, if you, if you go crazy and, and get a super hot car and spend all your money on, you know, some expensive vehicle or, you know, go through the microtransaction process they had in that game to unlock a fast car early, you know, I want to say you could do that. Uh, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played Forza 5 because I, I found that thing pretty disappointing. Mm. This feels like, in a lot of ways, the game that should have been. And it feels like they're kind of just cleaning up 
a lot of the things from that, and they, you know, they put in the, the better kind of weather effects and water stuff, and 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 that's that, you know? So this feels almost like a, a do-over of that game as opposed to, you know, doing a ton of, of new stuff. Right. They cleaned up the menus. They they, they, they cleaned up the, the multiplayer hoppers a little bit to kind of just, hey, get in here and do some stuff. Um, let me finish this race. Okay. And then we'll hop out and look at the showcases and then we just do free drives so that's the thing is you know you can you can drive any car on any track at any time uh, but you won't get anything for it like no unless, credits you, unless you own the car okay all right you won't get any brand affinity you know like all that sort of stuff so if it's a car that's in your garage and you're taking your tuned vehicle into the free play you can do it all you want you'll get the same progression you would get as you do for playing here in the career uh, you know, you'll you'll level up and stuff. I like but that. If, you, if you have to rent a car for a multiplayer match, or if you have to, uh, you know, if you're using a car that you don't own, you don't get the same amount of progression out of it. Okay. Um, which that seems like a fair like split. Incentive, that's, yeah. That seems like a fair split. Like you can, you know, you can get in there and do what you want to do. Uh, we want to spin. We get to spin the wheel. Oh boy. I got a Camaro. Sweet. I like that. I like the spin. Yeah, I would rather have that Cuda. To be honest. All right, Toyota Affinity. So yeah, you have brand affinity by driving a specific brand of cars, and you get a credit bonus every time you you do that too. I want to say that they gave you parts discounts last uh, in, in, previously for affinity levels. You didn't place high enough to advance. Hit restart, and I'll help you get set up to do better next time. Leave me alone, lady. What will she do? I don't actually know. Maybe <laughs> we should have hit that. I don't. Hey, stop driving badly. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um, I want you to hit the pace car. Uh, yeah, so Stories of Motorsport is kind of the is is the career here, and you see it's kind of these these volumes, uh, and then a you know series in the volume. Okay. Uh, um, and then you get the showcases. And are, you, are you free, sorry, to like jump around in there, or do you have to do it linearly? Linearly, uh, okay. because I, well, I mean, I think I could go back and do one that I've done before. I could probably hit this and, and go back, but I've already completed it. Says it says series two of 15. Oh, yeah, so, this is, so I'm on three. That's total. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm on three right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 all right. Uh, and I can't go to four. I can't even see four. No okay. idea what four is. Yeah. What's four? What is a four? Might be it's in sport, Yeah. perhaps. Uh, no, I, I think there are 15 volumes per, okay. per or, or 15 races, 15 sets per volume. Yeah, because that's series three, 15, and then you go to volume two, okay. and you kind of work your way up to faster and faster cars. Uh, so you know, if I went and bought a faster car or won it in a spin, I have nothing to do with it. I can't do anything with it in the career, unless it can be downgraded far enough to be like a D rank or C rank car. Got it. Uh, and that's. That's a bummer, I guess. But I, I get, I get yeah, why you, you want to level you, up. You go do free play. Yeah, you need, you need a progression in a game like yeah. this for sure. Okay, I mean that sounds that sounds kind of smart to me, uh, the organization of that. But it's not. Get, it's again, it's it's not particularly lively. Exactly. You know, it's just I, like I, here's a menu. Hit next. Go. Yeah. And, and yeah, um, let's see what moments in motorsport are. In the old days, motor racing was a matter of life or death. Drivers, like men who went to war, might never come back from the front line. Others would make it through, only to be sent on new missions with ever more powerful weapons. I'm, I'm going to say that comparing like auto racing to actual war is a fucking shit thing to do, video <laughs> game. Yeah. Give me a fucking break. Oh my god. Yeah. As we relive like, I get it. Racing was dangerous. It still is. But fuck you. <laughs> wow. Ugh. All right. Uh, I want to I see as early as we can go. All right. How about the birth of Grand Prix racing? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know there were cars like this in there. I don't know that I knew that. The next race will be at the Circuit de Spa-Francorchamps, home of the Belgian Grand Prix. I know that one. All right. They race F1 cars. We're going to do a little sometimes. track walk here. Great. Except they'll be driving. Okay. Track drive. 
Yeah, I like this music is super. Yeah, like. Here's a here's a grid. And here's some a lines. here's a waiting room. Yeah. You're standing in the lobby of a boutique hotel. Yes. For your showcase race. Thirty nine. Don't get to keep the car, but you can replay this race whenever you want. So, okay. I don't get to keep that car. Can I take that car on weird other tracks? I don't know. I don't know that you can. Uh, so no mods outside of the career. Um, That cockpit. Yeah. That's pretty Let's sweet. See. And that's that's nice and center for you. Yeah. Yeah, I was driving a Formula E car not that long ago. Oh, and, we need and, to do that. Yeah, and I kept that in the cockpit view, because uh, that was pretty much fun. Whoa. Kind of bummed I can't put like Darth Maul on the side of this thing. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna put these cars in the game. Put them in the game. Why are y'all slowing down in El Rouge? Flat out, boys. These are old cars. The science wasn't there yet. <laughs> you know, I also feel like. It, yeah. The game doesn't necessarily give me a good reason to drive clean. And I think if they had a bunch of penalties in it for the crashes and stuff, that would probably be frustrating too. Yeah. I don't know what the actual right answer is, but it, I mean, and I know that there are difficulty settings for, you know, hey, make the damage mean something and, and, and that sort of stuff, but that's not especially fun either. And yeah. I don't know, so I don't know what the exact answer is, but. Like, I, I, I just, there's no reason not to just bang your way through these races and smash into every single person unless you want to set up that restriction for yourself yes. personally and say, like, hey, I'm going to try and drive like it's real. It's the same thing you have to tell yourself when you're playing video game poker. Yes. Uh, and say, like, well, I'm not just going to go all in every single hand because I'm going to try and play this like it was real money. And you have to, you know, make the decision for yourself that you're going to try to play this like these were real cars. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of like, hey, I'm here to win, I have found zero reason to not slam into people around turns and, and all that sort of stuff. I think that's why when I play something like this, like a track-based simulator driving game, I jack up the controls all the way. Yeah, not, sure. Not because I'm like hardcore or whatever, but because I want to feel like I'm earning something right instead of just bashing my way through it's like why play a shooter on easy where you know or, or a or a light gun game with infinite machine gun yeah and i guess for me like you know i, I kind of sit in this weird middle category where like i want a certain amount of assistance turned on generally speaking right uh, not the super easy, weird stuff where it's like it practically steers and brakes you, for you. you like that stuff's yeah, crazy. That's, uh, gosh, um, auto steering is just the most bizarre thing and braking. Okay. Like I don't necessarily want to have to. Like I want traction control. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, like I you want it's a, for me. It's a balance between challenge and just playing hard. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I feel like the options in that middle ground aren't good enough. Yeah. Uh, so I don't feel challenged most of the time. Uh, and turning up the challenge turns it into kind of a, a different game in a way that it's no longer fun for exactly. me. Exactly, yeah. Uh, like, I, I love iRacing because, like, that is a very challenging game to play, and it does have things like if you hit another car, it's all multiplayer, so if you right, hit right. another car, like, your global rep goes down, So and you, there's no rewind. So, it, like, everything matters, and that's great, but it's incredibly taxing to play, too. Yeah, that's, like, that thing's like, an endurance challenge. That's yeah. like white knuckle, like yeah, every single thing. Like, okay, I only get one shot at this. I mean, that's, you know, kind of like real racing or something. Yeah. Um, and I think that's super interesting that that exists. It's it's not something that's that's necessarily for me. Uh, I racing, I mean. Yeah. But 
I think that's that's a cool and ridiculous option. Yeah. Uh, that that is is great. Um, let's go out to free play here. Okay. I do like the idea of, you know, couching an event in some sort of era. Yeah, yeah, the showcase stuff like that's that's cool, it, it, and it it serves you up a showcase thing at the very beginning of the career to kind of point you in that direction, and and you, you can. It seems like that stuff is just all open. So, um, I mean, we'll just look at the car list real quick here. It's sure. it's kind of sorted by manufacturer in a way that doesn't actually make it super easy to look at all of them, but um, it'll try to recommend me some cars here. Or I guess probably the current event that I'm in or something, but mm. what do we got here? All right, some some Acuras. Alfa Romeo. I've never never been an Alfa Romeo fan. I have no affinity. Yeah. We should race them more, and then you, you build up some affinity. And, okay. Yeah. The machine. The machine. Mm -hmm. I wish they would license more movie cars. Uh, so there's a Fast and Furious pack that uh, of cars that they did for uh, that Horizon like Fast and oh, Furious yeah. demo thing that will come in oh, to cool. this. You, you can you can buy them here. Uh, so I, this game is not technically out. Like people that bought the Ultimate Edition have full access to it, and then I've, I have access to. I think this is just the standard version or something. So maybe that's something that'll show up uh, eventually. Hi, Eric Pope. We could ask Eric Pope about it. Um, but right for right now, I can't actually buy those cars, which is strange because I think I technically already own them. But I, it's hmm. again, it's the game is officially out on Tuesday. I figure that this will all be cleared up by then. Um, yeah, yeah. Flying Lizard Motorsports. Okay. I wish that these would load in while you sat here to give you let you kind of pan around a little bit. Mm. Uh, it, this is the angle it gives you on all the cars when you're picking like paint jobs and stuff like that too. Um, huh. And you know, sometimes you want to see the back of a car before you decide to put that design on a car, that, yeah. that, 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 like like the user generated uh, paints and stuff. Uh, some Audis. You okay, go. so yeah, you can you can you can buy one of these and use it. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was never a big BMW guy. Same here. Um, it's like Porsches. They all look the same. Uh, my parents uh, forbid me from buying a German car because they work in auto repair and said, hey, if you want us to be able to work on your car for free, <laughs> don't get a German car. <laughs> it's like, noted. All right, got it. Uh, but also, I just, yeah, the BMW, just, I just never really, never really liked the cars. I don't think I know much. Ooh, there we go. I don't know much enough about cars to care about anything beyond what they look like. Sure. So that's what I'm chiefly going for. So you want an 87 Buick Regal? Yeah. See a lot of those in my neighborhood. Yeah? Huh. Mm -hmm. Cool. There was one uh, rolling by the other day. I could hear it from a block away. Awesome. awesome. It was impressive. I wasn't even angry. I was just like, you know what? You are... I can hear every bit of your music, and that is impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like nice SS Monte Carlo there. Yeah. So my first car was a 71. No, it was a 70, I think. Nova. Uh, Nova. Uh, I don't like those little... On that front fender there, the little like the, the contouring or whatever below the the chrome, I think is super lame. Hmm. Uh, mine, we we took that off. I wrecked that car, and then we tried to build another Nova, and that one had a bent body. The whole thing was it was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> um, the motor got stolen out of it. It was a three twenty seven that was like crazy, crazy for a three twenty seven, um, and. After I wrecked it, we were going to put that motor in another car, and then it was off at some other engine, other shop getting some work done, 
And oops, the rims and engine mysteriously disappeared. Mm. I'm like, um, guys, pretty sure you stole that shit. <laughs> it's messed up. Yeah, it was fucked. Uh, then we put a 350 in it. It was never the same. Never the same. You can't, you can't go back. Um, That's a spaceship looking car. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is the Fast and Furious thing. But yeah, like I said, it's... And there's DLC or whatever. Yeah, like a nice Dodge. It's a Mopar. Nothing wrong with nice it. Nice Donker Vort. Donker Donker Vort. That's the hottest musical genre coming out of <laughs> Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, okay. Ferraris. Ferrari. Some good looking Ferraris. Yeah, I've, I've definitely seen some Ferraris that I think look cool uh, without, you know, but. Uh, some of them I just think are too, too much. Yeah. Uh, this Ford GT is pretty much like the cover cars, the thing they lowered from the ceiling, and okay, so it's gonna get injured this season. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, if you played the demo, I think you can get one of these cars in game for free without having to pay the credits to get it. Huh. Or you could buy a truck. Mm-hmm. Get this Pepsi Max. Wow. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah. Transit Super Sport Van. I'm glad dumb cars are still in... I think you have to do that. I think, yeah. like, you know, this this game, this franchise served as, like, a, a useful purpose when I was car shopping. Yeah. And I wonder if maybe that's part of why I'm like not necessarily super into it is I bought a car. So don't, like don't need that functionality. Yeah, anymore. I don't necessarily need to go like virtually test drive or like look at bodies of cars and go like, okay, that's actually cool. The interior looks kind of cool. Like, like I was able to use Forza for that purpose. Uh, and the last Gran Turismo, or no, not the last one, the one before that, I think. I, I shopped for a car for a long time. It took me a long time to eventually buy a car. There we bought go. A Formula E. Yeah. I guess these are all going to be identical, right? Yeah, they're yeah, they're the same spec. So, yep. Oh yeah. There you go. Some Hennessy. Yeah. But yeah, like the 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 actual race cars in this game never really. I, I think the Formula E stuff's interesting, and it's cool that it's in there. But it, it's never. I don't know. Like I'm interested in tuner type stuff like mm -hmm. buying a stock car and doing things to it is just more interesting to me all well, kind of always has been in real life as well i hear that i bought a crx yeah in the game oh. i mean that wasn't the car you settled on <laughs> yeah it's like okay. i can get a 91 crx figured you know there we go an h1 yeah. surprising the Veloster. I see a lot of these on the road. Really? Uh, commuting and such. Huh. I see a lot of Velosters. And every time I look at it, I th think it, I think it says Velobster. <laughs> Lobsters are fast, man. Yeah. You ever no, try to the, catch one? No. Oh, no, geez. never. Why would you? Why would you? They're S delicious. Some nice for jeeps. One. Oh, All cool. Right, look okay. At that. Yeah. You got a jeep ass jeep in here. Yeah. Hey, you know where and jeep, a Grand Wagon here. You know where the name Jeep comes from? I feel like I probably read that at some point. Because that, that is a general purpose vehicle. Uh, GP. GP. Koenigsegg. Mm hmm. Expo. Got some Lamborghinis in oh, here. Yeah. What is what is that? I didn't know they made a like SUV. A crossover y kind of Weird. thing. Yeah. Well, at some point, you know, the only people that can afford Lamborghinis are the people that need to put a bunch of, like, car seats in them and, you know, go grocery shopping. True. Soccer moms with money. Yep. Whoa. It's a cool looking car. Yeah. I've always liked Lamborghinis. Uh, that is my, if you put me on the, like, the, the supercar end of things, like, the Lamborghini has always been the interesting looking ones for me. Not Ferrari, not Porsche. I always like Lotuses, too. Yeah. Lotuses are weird. The, the, was it, the Elise mm -hmm. is the one that you see the most of, and they're tiny. Yeah. It's I, crazy I was not, how small they are. I was not surprised when I found out that John DeLorean used to work for Lotus. Sure, yeah, yeah. Because I like that car, too. 
Uh, so this is, uh, I have a 2015. This is the car okay. I ended up buying. Nice. Um, and 2014 was the year that they redesigned the body, so I think this is largely unchanged from from my actual car. That color? Nope, uh, like a gray. Okay. Uh, okay. What is that? It's the local motor motors rally fighter. Cool. I don't know. Is that just like some fucking kit car or something? Probably, like there's a bunch yeah. of weird stuff in here. There we uh, go. Yeah. Is that Pastor Maldonado's Lotus? Is it? I don't know. You tell me. Um. Well, it's got the uh, the black camera up up top, TV camera. Mm -hmm. So that means I think it's Roman Grosjean's, but I'm gonna pretend it's uh, Pastor okay. Maldonado's. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that stuff, like the sort of boxy 80s, well, that's yeah. 2002. That's 2002, wow. weird, right? Yeah. But, yeah. There we go. Team Lotus number five, is that? That's probably... Oh, 76, okay, it's 1976. Okay, that's, probably that's, somebody's, that's something else. Somebody famous. Same with that. My uh, my my old F1 knowledge is not quite... Yeah. Uh, Some Maseratis. Mm -hmm. Some Maseratis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Sure. I saw one of these on the road. Uh, the just the this thing. Yeah. I think it's, it's a cool looking fucking car. Yeah. Mercedes AMG. And I, and I don't. It's Mercedes Benz doesn't really do anything for me either. Same yeah. deal as BMW. Almost. They might as well be identical. Mm. Not like a nice cougar. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> all right, all right. Some Mitsubishis. Mm -hmm. Fast and Furious Mitsubishi. I like the GTR. Mm hmm. Uh, what else? All right, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Pagani. Yep. Peugeot. Hmm. British people love to put an R in, into Peugeot. Weird. Some Pontiacs. Mm hmm. Nice Pontiac Solstice. I'm going to buy one of those and really build it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a big fucking truck with Mopar on the side yep. of it. One Rolls Royce. That's all you need. The TC. That's where they landed on sign. Like, I don't know. I guess we could put a sign on here. <laughs> these these are real small, too. I was actually surprised. It's one of those things where, like, looking at them in-game, like this and, like, the FRZ, I guess. Like, the seeing them in video games did not properly prepare me for how tiny those cars are in real life. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Teradyne armored vehicles. Okay. Yeah. Like at this point, if they're gonna put cars like that from movies in here, they might as well just put the warthog back in. Yeah. Although you couldn't actually drive that. No, could you? it was just for the the Forza Vista thing. All right. Some VWs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Figures. There you go. Oh yeah. And some Volvos. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, they always have a healthy uh, grip of cars in there. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh, so, free play. This will let us just kind of select. This is for me. Uh, oh, this is my car. I want to rent car. For those unaware, Formula E is the electric car racing league series mm -hmm. uh that just wrapped its first season okay so it's still pretty new then yeah all right yeah should do daytona just to really open these things up <laughs> sure uh they do all street races in formula e and the tickets are free so is that because it's their first season and no one cares about it yeah, and I think it's also, like, they want to, I think their philosophy is very, uh, 
they want to include as many people as they can and they want to encourage the, you know, popularization of electric cars. It's all very noble. Mm. Or sponsored by electric car companies. That too. Yeah. Got it. I mean, you know, it, just like Formula One, uh, if you have a race team like this where you're dumping a lot of R&D into, hopefully that what you learn will trickle down into right. your consumer yeah. divisions, yeah. right? Yeah. Are you racing with other cars? <laughs> yep. Oh, weird. Okay. And I guess we can take mods into the free race stuff. Weird. I really like the way these uh, Formula E cars sound. Well, that's some other E's. But that guy. I don't know. Yeah, they're almost hard to hear uh, over the... Yeah, there you go. It's that high-pitched whine. Sounds like an RC car. Yeah. Is this like the Daytona music, or does this just happen on everything? No, this is. I, I, I think this just happens on everything. Unfortunately, you cannot hear the actual true Daytona music oh. in any video game outside of Daytona USA. I mean, they should have licensed that. Like that's <laughs> something that, like, if you were making, if you wanted to have like some fun, yeah, and wanted to have a, a, a car video game that was fun, you would go out to Sega and say, "Let us put the fucking Daytona music in our game, and it only plays when you're on Daytona." You can only do rolling starts. Yeah. Yes. Or, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Rolling stars. There you go. There's a, a Street Fighter soundtrack tribute album that came out in Japan and has that guy singing, like, Ryu's theme. Really? And he, he, they, they wrote lyrics to Street Fighter music. Wow. And so it's th that guy, that voice, singing that. And, you know, it's... Uh, Pretty good. If you like the Daytona th song. It sounds special. It's, uh... Whoa, boy. Come on, man. I got an electric car here. You're going to shred through me. Cool thing about electric cars is that uh, you don't need to shift. Oh, right. Yeah. You just... You just go. I go 140, apparently. And no faster. Yep. Uh, pit stops in Formula E are really cool. They just uh, like rip a battery out and throw no. a new one in or something? Like or they've got tires? two cars. So you come into the pits, park, jump out of your car into a new one, and then take off. Weird. Yeah. Because the batteries only last like, you know, 40 minutes or whatever. Mm. I mean, 40 minutes at like top speeds or, or race speeds. Yeah. Right? And then... Um, You've also got fan boost, right? Which is uh, whichever driver has the most tweets to his name, or people tweeting about him before the race, gets a boost button that he can deploy at any point during the race. I'm hitting all the buttons on the controller to see if there is a boost. <laughs> well, you didn't get enough tweets, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. No, I forgot my e-brake, and that that seems to be it. Uh, anyway, yeah, this is Formula E. Yeah. Cool. And uh, let's do a track in the rain. We, okay. That's, we've yeah. been talking about it. We actually should, should show that uh, and then wrap it up. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know what the, the verdict is on this. You know, I, I kind of want to play a little more of it, but it's, it's not grabbing me at all. Yeah. But I, I think that's... You know, no fault of the quality of the actual driving. It's more that the, the, the AI and and some the, all the stuff around you driving a car, I think, could be better. Yeah. Um, and that's frustrating because it feels like so close to being, you know, kind of just. And, and I, th I still think it's the, it's the best thing going for this type of game on consoles. Um, 
Though now that I think about it, I didn't play a lot of uh, Project Cars on a console. Mm -hmm. uh, I know people seem to really like that. Danny uh, seems to like it. Yeah. I heard, I've heard from other people that it is impenetrable. Yeah, yeah. I've kind of kind of heard uh, both things. Let's let's, uh, let's grab that Nova. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm gonna grab uh, that Lexus. Okay. Right, because the, I'll be able to look at the cockpit of that and going, huh? Okay. Yes. H. I J K L. How do letters work? Okay. Uh, got any track preference? Hmm. Well, we already saw Circuit the Americas. Is pretty good. Laguna Seca never ends there. Um. Sonoma, Top Gear Test Track, Yas Marina, Kevin Rain in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know if you can. Well, let's, I mean, we can. No. <laughs> <laughs> Day, night, those are your options. Yep. Uh, let's do Circuit of the Americas. Okay, was that back it was, under? Yeah, to the left, keep going, straight to the front. Under C. Yeah, two to the right. This, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, mm. Nope. No, nope. it's in Austin. No, no nighttime there either. Huh. There you go. You can count on this brand's hatch to. Certainly. All right, take the Grand Prix circuit. I guess it makes sense. Like you got to you got to program in where water would be and stuff. Oh sure, yeah. Like I, I doubt this is uh, dynamic. Weather sensitive loading screens check. Mm hmm. Brands hatch. Hashtag brands. Hatch. It's fun to say. Brands hatch? Something about it sounds dirty to me. And I, I, that, I mean, obviously, that says more about me than anything about brands hatch, but. It sounds super British to me. But maybe that's only because I know it's in Britain. No, that's, yeah. I, I think it's, it's, even before I knew that, I'd say it sounds, sounds British for sure. I would say Watkins Glen also yep. sounds British to me. And yep. apparently that's in Texas. Or, is that what it was? I don't know. We just looked, but I already forgot. So if you... I'll apply my grip technician. <laughs> and is that, does that get used up? No, that's uh, permanent use. Uh, you, okay. can, you can equip it every time you want. You only equip one of each type. Yeah, there are some that are like the boost ones are single use. Okay. Uh, the dares and the crew are unlimited use. If you use those then in free play, do they go away? Mm, probably, because you you'd still gain XP and stuff like that oh, in, right, okay. in free play. Uh, so yes, this is exactly, this is more or less how my car looks. Okay. Is that how rain looks in your car? Yeah. Is that how the white I mean, I don't know. It, it hasn't rained here. Okay. Actually, I think it has not rained here since I got the car. Now that I think about it, maybe <laughs> like once. It's weird that you're... Oh. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it, did, it did erase your uh, tire tracks in the sand oh, when yeah. you hit go. That's cool. Good looking rain. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw it tug you yeah. uh, to the right when your right tires went through the water there. Yeah, so between just like the way the, the way it jerks, the, the way the controller feels when you do it, like that stuff's really nice. It'd be cool if the, I mean, it'd be cool if the navigation system was turned on. It's above that fucking analog <laughs> clock that is in this car for some fucking insane reason. <laughs> There's no clock on the 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 nav, like the the big screen that's right above there mm -hmm. that, that's like recessed into. Well, it's because you got a big clock. Right uh, there. It's just got a, an analog clock. <laughs> it's classy. It's a classy automobile. I see. Yeah, it'd be cool if the uh, the navigation screen was like your mini map. Yeah, that'd be neat. But also ridiculous. Yes. So I, Play pretty differently uh, in the rain. 
in the wet? Uh, it does. I mean, you, you definitely have to, you know, there are certainly considerations. You have to look at, get a good look at the road so you know where the puddles are because you'll be jerked into them and have to account for that. And I imagine it's one of those things where, I mean, there, you know, there, that was a traction situation there when I went through that puddle. Like, that stuff feels nice. Uh, and again, it's something that, you know, it's, it is... Th this controller's specific and unique option is what makes that work on a gamepad. Again, hmm. I, you know, I can't speak to the variety of racing wheels out there. I'm sure, you know, they're... I mean, does iRacing have weather? Ooh. I... I want to say you just, like... If it does, it's like... I don't know. I, I would guess uh, that if you're racing on a wet track, it's just... You have less grip now. Yeah. Like, I don't think they have puddles and stuff. Or maybe they just say, like, no, nah, whenever you're racing an iRacing track, it's when in its ideal conditions. Right. I don't actually know. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yep. Yep. So you can hydroplane and stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Aquaplane? Aquaplane, yeah. Fuck you. Take that. My favorite Jethro Tull song. Mm-hmm. Sitting in the Lexus. Go on. Smashing into cars and going off track. Yep. It's a messed up thing to do, somebody. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you, 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 you ever see that video of guys racing, uh, I don't know, just like normal cars on a track? And ooh, yeah. Yeah. And... <laughs> A uh, guy comes up next to another guy and then like closes his mirror. <laughs> yes, I, I <laughs> the think. The guy's I, like, God! Yeah, yeah. He throws his hands up, like, really? It's pretty good. Um, you know, we won't, we won't jump into the multiplayer uh, actual racing because then we're just quitting in the middle of someone else's match, and that's kind of a messed up thing to do. But you yeah. know, I'll show you how the hoppers look, and then, then we'll actually call Something it. Something Dan Record would do. Um. But yeah, you know, I, I, I tried the online racing. Obviously, you can't rewind. If you become an obstacle on the track, it makes you transparent uh, so that you don't cause huge pileups. Mm. Um, and it has a set of hoppers. Uh, and it seems cleaner than it was last time. Okay. Establishing a quality connection. Mm, not just any connection. Exotic showdown. Yeah, so uh, you know these are the, these are the options you have for racing. You can create a private match and then you know presumably do whatever you want. Um, but, you know if you want to do some A class races, you got that. Some some unlimited drift. Yeah, Introduct introductory racing here makes everyone it turns off collisions. Oh. So you can just get in there and just you know wait, go, like Race. Trackmania or yeah. something. Um, drag racing, tag. Drag racing. Drag racing. Is it is unlimited it really? drag? Is it really just drag racing? I mean, I assume so. Good job. I got ranked. Whoa. It's a big drag race. Ow. I have actually been to the drag strip at Sonoma Raceway. They do a uh, series called uh, Top the Cops. Yeah, right. Where they, yes, <laughs> take your F1 car to the drag strip. <laughs> yeah, top the cops. Cops come out and race against uh, kids in their cars. Do the cops always win? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, this race is in progress. We might not be able to actually. Oh, okay. Oh. It, might, it might be a bit of a wait, because I don't know how. I hope it pairs you Oh, up. no, okay, all right. It's... They're back in the lobby, it looks like. I hope it pairs you up with that Chevy Nova. I wonder if it pairs you up or if everyone just drag races and at the end it, it just says, here's who won, how this actually works. Um, and this works with their Forza Hub, which is something they rolled out, I guess about a year ago now, um, which is another Xbox One app that has like news about Forza and then like you launch it and you'll get rewards mm. for all of the Forza games you have played. It's like Halo Waypoint, how it had that cross game achievement type stuff. Sure. It's that. 
Um, but I recommend people launch that because if, they, if they've played a lot of other Forza games, I got like nine cars in this game. Wow. It still says waiting for players to finish game, and it went back to the checkered flag instead of the... The wheel? The wheel. Yeah, I'm not seeing any like ready up. Yeah. Maybe this will take some time. Anyway, that's Forza Motorsport 6. Okay. Uh, it looks fantastic. I think it drives really well. Um, but if that's enough for you, then yeah, I think the the AI still leaves something to be desired. The drive guitar stuff's not, still doesn't feel great, um, and I think a lot of this stuff it it just it feels passionless at, when you look at these menus and you look at the way the stuff is structured. You know, you, you get a lot of that kind of loving detail elsewhere. Uh, but the presentation, the wrapping around it, just feels cold uh, in a way that I, I think that they could, they could do a lot better with. Um, yeah. All right, Jeff. Thanks, Drew. Thanks. Uh, Jason's out sick today, so I'm going to go... Uh, All right, you go hit stop. I'm going to go hit stop. listen to this lady talk about this race car. Right. Mm-hmm. In partner okay. with other manufacturers. That's right, Pastor. Martin, Toyota, and many others, mostly with chassis and suspension design. Mm. Mm -hmm. Most innovations include okay. the monocoque fiberglass body, active suspension, and a rear engine chassis were quickly copied by other companies. Some of their racing tech.